Finally, in this lecture, we are going to learn how we can find all the places present within a given radius. For example, let's say that I have the current coordinates of a user, the current location of a user. And for that user, I want to search all the places which comes within a given radius. So in our places collection, we have a list of places which we have stored. And let's say I have the current coordinates of the user. Now I will give a radius and I want to search all the places, maybe all the restaurants within that given radius for that user. So the current coordinate of the user will be the point from where the radius will start. We will specify a radiant and MongoDB should return us all the places from the places collection which comes in that radius. Now we learned about dollar near operator and dollar near operator also does the same thing. And in order to find all the places within a given radius, we are going to use this dollar center sphere operator. But before I show you how we can use this operator, let's first check what is the use of this dollar center sphere operator and this dollar near operator and how they are different. So let's start with dollar near operator. We have already seen dollar near operator with an example. This operator basically finds documents nearest to a specific point. On the other hand, center sphere, this operator finds the documents within a specified circular region. The dollar near operator, it calculates the distance between the specified point and documents in the collection and it returns documents sorted by distance closest first. So basically, whatever result this dollar near operator returns us, it is already sorted by distance in which the closest places will come first. But the center sphere operator, it defines a circle using a center point and a radius. And it returns the documents whose location are within that circle, within that radius. Let's also see the use case where we can use the dollar near operator and a use case where we can use dollar center sphere operator. So we can use dollar near operator when we want to find the nearest locations to a given point. So for example, finding the nearest restaurants to a user's current location. On the other hand, we can use this dollar center sphere operator in order to find all the places, all the documents from our places collection within a specific radius of a point. For example, finding all the restaurants within five miles of a city center. I hope you got the difference. Now let's see how we can find all the locations within a given radius using this dollar center sphere operator. Let's go to Mongo shell. Let me clear the shell here and let's write the command first in VS code and then we will copy it and paste it in the Mongo shell and then we will run it. So here we want to find all the places and we are storing the places in the places collection. So we want to query the places collection here. So for that I'm going to use this find method on the places collection. And in the places collection the location field is the one which is storing the coordinates, the coordinates of the places. So here we are going to search the location field of each document. In there, we are going to use dollar geo within. Now, why we are using this operator? So we have learned that using this operator, we can find places inside a geometrical shape. We can find places within an area like a polygon or we can also find places within a circle. So here, since we are going to specify a radius, we want to find places within a circle, a circle of a given radius. We are going to use this geo within operator. To this again, we are going to assign a document. Now here in this document, instead of specifying a single point or instead of specifying an area, here we want to give a coordinate and we want to give a radiant. For that, what we can do? We can do dollar center sphere operator. So here, instead of using dollar geometry operator, we are using dollar center sphere. So this is the operator name. To this, we need to assign an array. In that array, 
the first element will be an array where we need to specify the longitude and the latitude and then the second element will be the radius so here we need to specify a radian now here to specify the coordinates of a given point let's go to map let me add a point here maybe i'll add a point somewhere here so let's select this add marker let me add a point here let's save it let's copy the coordinates here the latitude and longitude let's specify it here and here the longitude should come first and then the latitude okay so here we have given the coordinates of this point so this point will act as a center and around this center we want to create a circle of a given radius and whichever place falls in that circle that we want to fetch from the places collection now in order to specify the radiant what we need to do is so for example here we can specify the radiance in miles or in kilometers but here since we need to give a radian not in distance in miles or kilometers what we need to do is let's go to mongodb documentation so here you can learn about the geospatial queries in mongodb so for example you can go to mongodb server documentation there you can go to crud operations inside that when you will scroll down you will see this geospatial queries and here you can learn more about geospatial queries so for example what is geojson object what is geospatial data then how you can create a location for example as we have learned each location should have a type and the coordinates right when the type is point the coordinates will be an array with longitude and latitude then you can learn more about the geospatial queries in mongodb here and if you want to learn about the different types which we can use in geojson here we have the geojson objects documentation as you can see we will have a field you can provide any name to this field in this field you will have a type where you specify the geojson type and the coordinates where you specify the coordinates for that type now the type can be point which stores a single longitude and latitude it can be a line string which store the coordinates of two points it can be a polygon which stores the coordinate of multiple points using which we are creating the area and always remember that when we have a polygon the first element the first coordinate and the last coordinate should be same okay so you can also learn about these types here in detail okay now here let's go to indexes let's go to types of indexes there we have this geospatial index 2d and calculate to radians so as i have mentioned we need to specify the second argument in radians and to convert kilometers or miles in radians we need to divide those values with this value so if you want to convert a mile to radians you need to divide it by this value and if you want to convert kilometers to radians you need to divide it by this value so let me copy this value and let's say i want to find all the places which is within 300 meter of radius so here i'll specify it in kilometers so it will be 0.3 divided by the value which i have copied which is 6378.1 and here we should not use comma it should be like this so this here it will create that 300 meters in radians and based on that it is going to calculate the radius and then it is going to return us all the places from our places correction which is present in that radius let's run this query so let me copy this query let's paste it here and let's run it and you see it is returning us these four documents so these four documents are present in that radius if i change it to maybe 0 0.1 
that means we want to find all the places which is within 100 meter radius so let's see how many places are there in our places collection which is in 100 meter radius to a given point to this coordinate if i press enter it is returning us no documents so no document is within the 100 meter radius to this point if i change it to 0 0.2 let's see what happens let me copy this let's clear this shell let me paste the command and if i press enter it is returning us one document so is temple is within 200 meter radius of this coordinate basically this coordinate i mean this place all right let me go ahead and let me delete this point so in this way using this center sphere we can find all the places from a given collection which falls within a given radius here we are specifying that radius this is all i wanted to cover in this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day